Today we're going to be talking about circuit symbols and revision technique. In AQA science you've got these 14 circuit symbols that you need to learn. You need to be able to draw them, recognise them and name them. So how could you go about learning them? Well one thing you could do is you could use flashcards. People always use flashcards but they don't always use them correctly. The point of flashcards is to divide information up into small bite-sized chunks. The point of cutting them out and putting them onto separate cards is so that you can easily sort them and arrange them to those that you do know and those that you don't know. So if I was going to be using these flashcards to revise, here's how I'd go about doing it. Number one, I'd spend my time learning them, making sure I know them, giving myself 10 minutes or so. Once I've done that, I'd go through each one, trying to name what that symbol was. If I got it correct, I'd put it onto one part. If I got it incorrect, I put it onto the second part. I'd go through the entire pack, putting the ones that I do know on one side and the ones that I don't know on the other side. Now you've left yourself with a pile that you do know and a pile that you don't know. And luckily, this pile is smaller than what you started. What I'd then do is I'd go through these and try and remember them. I'd then put them to one side and I'd leave it for an amount of time. It might be overnight, it might be two days. When I come back to it in two days, I'll leave these ones alone. I'm just going to look at these ones. Again, I'm going to go through it. The ones that I do know, I'll put on one side. The ones that I don't know, I'll put on the other side. And again, the ones I do know, I'm going to disregard. Now, much more manageable, but a much smaller pile. Again, I'm going to try and remember them. I'm going to leave it for a period of time, overnight, for two days, and again I'm going to come back to them. And this time, the ones I do know, and the ones I don't know. And eventually, I'll get to the point where I've just got all of the ones I know. Now that's not where it stops. What you're then going to do, is you're going to go through the whole pile again. You're going to do the same thing. And again, there's going to be some that you don't know, and some that you do know. But hopefully you're going to start to get more and more in that pile that you do know. And again, I'm going to repeat the process until I've just got back to having none left. And again, I'm going to leave that process again. And eventually, you should get to the point where as you go through all of them, you know them all. Again, you don't want to leave it there. You want to leave that for a week or so, and you want to come back to it. And the more you can keep doing that, and over the longer period of time, the more it's going to get into that long-term memory, and you've got to remember them all. So, have a go, download our flashcards, and see if you can remember all 14 of your circuit symbols. Happy sciencing!